doesn't he doesn't care about the flashlight. Use your pick, he's made of rocks? <laughs> Not a bad idea. He's throwing poop at my friend. Uh I have grenades, so I'm gonna see if oh chicken. Oh look at that, that's cool. Oh he hates you. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> Who said to use the pick? <laughs> he do, he doesn't care about my grenades. I'm flashing it with my flashlight and he's not, not aggro on me. Well, it's so... probably because I went for the flying jump. No, no, no. Oh, he's running no, now after you, chicken. He's coming for you, chicken. <laughs> he yeah, did not like that. He's running. He's <laughs> no, no, running no, no, no. now, chicken. <laughs> he knows <laughs> I know his weakness. He's got a very he weird run. Like... <laughs> he's <laughs> just, like frolicking. He's like he's an angry toddler. I know. That's exactly how I run. So with the cycle's final beta finished last weekend, I'm sure like me you are eagerly awaiting the launch of the full game. In the meantime, I've taken some time to think about what I'd like to change or what I'd like added to the game to improve it in the long run. So here I've put together five quick thoughts on how I believe the cycle frontier could be improved ahead of launch. Currently, the difference in equipment tiers is just too drastic. Players running white or green gear stand absolutely no chance against players with epic tier guns and armor. It's a tricky situation to fix, but I think the gear needs to be on a much more even playing field, while well, there needs to be some negatives applied to high tier equipment, such as weight penalties. The last air dropped into the cycle, I was just getting deleted by players running their epic weapons that they had been stashing for the end of the beta, and it was just frustrating. It felt like I had a nerf gun and they had a 50 cal. This is going to be a big issue when it comes to bringing new players into the game consistently after launch because they're going to not want to get slapped every 5 seconds. This ties into my first point, but at the moment everyone in the game just looks the same, and the only way you can tell if someone has epic tier armour is by shooting them and seeing what colour hit mark you get. This isn't good as it prevents you from making decisions about how you should try and take on a fight. It'd be great to have people's armor more easily visible so that you can tell what they're running more clearly. Similar to how in Tarkov you can easily spot people's gear depending on pretty much how thick they are is how much gear they have and what kind of tier gear they're running. Now I'm sure this is something that is already in the works and I've heard plenty of rumors about additional maps being added. But it'd be great to have some new maps that are potentially more PvP focused, set in perhaps a smaller indoor environment, something similar to what you have with Factory or Labs and Tarkov, or maybe a map that's more of an urban town environment that could entirely change how you play the game. I really like they have the maps currently, but giving people a lot of variety and options in different places to drop will keep them engaged in the long run. In a similar vein to adding new maps, I'd be interested in seeing AI humans added to certain maps or areas that you could fight, kill and loot. This would provide a different challenge than just fighting the mobs and other players on the maps. It could also give players a chance to get better weapons by fighting killing AI instead of the higher risk of PvP fights. It would also create potential hotspots on maps where you're guaranteed action and which would also create some more interesting scenarios that could play out. The final thing I'd like to change is kind of a, a smaller thing, but I think the space station needs to be brought to life more. And again, I'm sure this is something they will address in the future. As you can see, there are already closed off parts of the station. But being able to have your party in the space station with you would just bring a bit of a boost to the lull between matches and, you know, just create, make it feel a bit more alive in that area. So that's all from me. Like I said, it was just a quick one. These are some of the things I'd love to see change before the game, but I'm really excited to see what they do themselves. And I have high hopes for the game when it finally launches. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you have any other ideas. And like and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next time.